Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Who drives down the motorway with the top off? Bellens. Anyway, what have you got for us this week, Mike? Well, apart from having my top on, um, this week I've got some wrist based activities. On screen now, you can see our contact info. It's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Cud.tv for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And there's names of people who've popped up and said, I love, go along the bottom of the screen. It's this week's Showbiz with Lee. So, first bit of Showbiz news, mm -hmm. we've got a celebrity who has chosen a new name. Ooh, exciting. So, we are welcoming uh -huh. Susie Izzard okay. to the celebrity field. So the gender fluid comedian who came out as transgender, I think around sort of 2019, uh -huh. um, has changed their name officially to okay. Susie. So they will now be known as Susie Izzard. Okay, and there, there is Susie. There's Susie there. Um, apparently, it, she, she kind of decided on this when she was giving a talk um, at Swansea University and the chancellor referred to them as her. Mm -hmm. So she was like, okay, well, if that's where people are, are, are going, then I'm going for that. Um, so she said that it felt amazing to hear someone identify her with she, her pronouns and adopted them soon after. Okay. Um, a couple of years ago, 2020, they appeared on the Portrait Artist of the Year, which I watched. Um, yeah, and that's just you, though. Just me. <laughs> um, I find that very soothing. Like watercolour challenge. No, though. No, no. no. It's got to be. It's got to be celebrity portrait artist oh, okay. of the year. So they like bring like four celebrities in who have to sit there and the people paint them, and then they have to choose which one, and you they can like see it. them going, yeah. "That shit, that shit, <laughs> that sh I love that one." Um, anyway, she was on Portrait Artist of the Year, and that was the first time that sh that she publicly requested to be referred to as she, her. Um, oh. We've got a picture of them there. Um, at the time, she said, well, I try to do things I think are interesting, and this is the first programme I've asked if I can be she and her, the transition period. Um, it feels great because people just assume that, well, they know me from before. I'm gender fluid. I just want to be based in girl mode from now on. Uh -huh. Go on, life, live it well. Um, so good for them. So what she has said is that if people do use her previous name, uh -huh. she's not going to kind of make... A big, a big deal about deal it, about it. Okay. but she would prefer if people would refer to her as Susie. That was the, she said, that's the name that I wanted when she was 10. All right, okay. So, um, that's good. so she said, that's how I'm going to roll. So people can choose what they want. They can make a mistake. They can't go wrong. Uh -huh. I didn't know this, uh -huh. but she went to stand for a Labour MP for Sheffield yeah. last year. Uh -huh. Didn't get it, but apparently it's going to keep going until she gets voted in. Good. Um, and also, she's going to be starring in a film, the first role since transitioning, as um, it's a remake of Dr. Jekyll and Dr. Hyde. Mr. Is it Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Just say Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Um, <laughs> it's going to be called The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's and the way around you do it. That's the way around you do it. <laughs> yeah. um, and she is going to be playing the character ooh, of Nina Jekyll. Oh. Mm. So, good things to look forward to. Exciting in time, yes. Good for Susie. Loving, Su Loving Susie is the name. One of my childhood friends was called Susie. And it's, it's, a, it's a good name. She's still with us? Yeah. Okay. Well, not right now she's not. No, not now, but in yeah. general she's still... Yeah, she's still alive. She's still okay. Yeah. It's not okay. Anywho, so we're kind of staying with... Um, LGBTQIA plus news. Which is good for the show. It's good, because it is, yeah. it is, it, that's the... the, the, <laughs> it's, the it's, a bit, it's a bit of a uh, show. <laughs> <coughs> so, coming out of America at the moment, there's all this awful stuff around oh. drag queens and banned drag queens talking to children, at reading stories. It's all... Some a, states have banned drag queens in public. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's like, what? Anyway, Big Star has spoken out about it. Melissa McCarthy. Love who, Bridesmaids, all those kind of really hilarious films, she has spoken out. She's going to be playing Ursula in the Disney live-action remake of The Little Mermaid. Nice. So what she did, basically, what she 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 posted something on her social media mm -hmm. um, that 
it was like a grid of lots of different characters, which we've got here, that said, and what she said was, you've been entertained by drag your whole life. Don't pretend it's a problem now. Yeah. Um, so we've got like Robin Williams as Mrs. Doubtfire, mm -hmm. Tony Curtis and Jack Lemon, yeah. and Stephanie and Josephine from Some Like It Hot. We've got John Cleese from Monty Python. Mm -hmm. Dustin Hoffman as Toot Tootsie. Is it Tootsie Tootsie? Tootsie, yeah. Um, Bugs Bunny. And even Bugs Bunny. Um, yeah. And she's and basically she just went this. Um, so it, it's a response to the to, to basically the governor of of Tennessee with his ridiculous bill that says prohibits public drag and adult cabaret performances, which define as featuring male or female impersonators. Ridiculous. Um, it's just, it's it's people trying to go oh, it's one step beyond trans. It's not trans debate, it's everything. It's it's, it's all this kind of, a, this r ridiculous notion of that it sexualizes children. It's just ridiculous. Um, anyhow, um, well, since you posted that, loads and loads of celebrities backed mm -hmm. up and yep. gave, gave, gave it a... Ben De La Creme mm -hmm. from, from Drag Race, he said, it's been disheartening to see how few allies are bringing attention to what is happening. These drag bands are only the tip of the iceberg, a way to slowly desensitise the American public to increasingly dangerous anti-queer rhetoric. Mm -hmm. um, which is true. And, he, and he, uh, Ben De La Creme went on to say, I hope to continue to see celebrities and public figures speak up more and more LGBTQ plus lies are endangered. It's ridiculous. However, we're kind of we're looking forward to Melissa B. We've got a picture here now. They've not, they've the trailer for the Little Mermaid has dropped, and don't even get me started on the gammons that are going on and on and on about this. But you can't have Little Mermaid who's black. Ridiculous. Um, that's coming out oh. sort of summertime. There's a little bit of a sneak peek of her being Ursula. Oh. It's very exciting. Yeah. Um, I mean, also famously based on a drag queen. Ursula was based was on based design. on yeah. Um, People just need to get a grip. Yes. Really. Anyway. Got a little bit. up that. It, you get me dander up. Ooh. Right, we're going to calm down a little bit. Okay. Jamie Lee Curtis, she's been speaking some sense. Oh, like. So, she's just won her Oscar. The first Oscar that she's won in her entire career really? as Best Supporting Actor in um, a role. Okay. Um, I haven't seen the film that she's in. What's the name of the film that she's in? Um, it's called... Jamie Lee Curtis's film. <laughs> okay. I could see you skirting <laughs> no, around It's the called the film. Everything Everywhere and All, all at Once. Yeah. I, I think it's a bit of an arty film. It's not a it's not a sort of mainstream blockbuster. Anyway, basically what she's been doing, she's been talking about how um she's got to the age where if she's gonna do something, mm -hmm. it's gotta be here before a certain time, because otherwise and I'm fully of empathising with this. It's so you're famous for leaving parties at 8 p.m. <laughs> whether they've started or not. No, I'm out of there. <laughs> so what she's saying is, is that she would love to go to a concert, in particular Coldplay. I don't know why. Because um, she likes to punish herself. But she said, if it, if it's if it's past my din bedtime, I, I can't. I, you know, it starts at nine o'clock. She's like said, why are there no matinees in concerts? I'm curious. I would love to go and see Coldplay. I would I'd love it. The problem is, I'm not going to see Coldplay if they start their show at nine and there's an opening act. I want to hear Coldplay at 1pm. I completely agree. Let's do a matinee for the elderly and the people who are tired. <laughs> um, and so, people that are both. <laughs> so Same. what she, she, she's also kind of said is that she, when you're sort of nominated for an Oscar, there's kind of like this, this um, party or dinner that, that takes oh. place prior to the Oscars where all the nominees are invited. And she said, I'm going to tell you a secret. There's a nominees dinner, an Academy Award nominees private dinner on Thursday night, and it starts at 7.30 p.m., and I've declined. And she goes on to say, 7.30 is square. She said, now you may say, Jamie, you're nominated for an Academy Award. You're going to be in the room with only nominees for the Academy Award, and I have declined. Why? Because mommy goes to bed early. I'm with it. We've got a picture of here. That is the character that she plays, uh -huh. um, who, which I totally empathise with. <laughs> That's like my spirit animal. Eating a biscuit. Uh, eating a biscuit. Yeah. With an ill-fitting polar neck. Um, and there she's winning her Oscar. And I, I completely agree. Think of it. The Oscars is on late. Well, I think she kind of might have made an exception for that. Oh, okay. Um, and has spent the next fortnight asleep. <laughs> um, but I totally agree. Because yeah, you like to leave at 8 o'clock in the evening. Why do things have to be so late? It's not late. Just get them on, get them finished, and let's get home before 10. That's all I'm asking. 
I don't need. I don't need it. Would you go to? Would you go to a matinee concert? No. Why? Because people get really upset with me when I get drunk in the afternoon. Yeah, but you can't tell whether it's night or day. I do when you get out. Yeah, but then you go. Oh, it's still daylight. And then you go. Oh no, still bright. No. I I have a business plan for okay. a homosexual club night, but it's not a night. It's an afternoon. It starts at eleven, and it finishes at five. The music's not too loud. There's lots of <laughs> lovely not a club like that, is it? There's lots of comfy seats. What you've done there is you've invented a bar. No, 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 no. <laughs> it has like all the dancing and the disco, and then floor and all that, lot. Okay. But you can hear each other speak. You can sit down and have a rest, and then you can go home and get in bed ready for ten o'clock. It's the future. It's day drinking. No. What you've invented those day? You don't even. You're not even going to be serving booze at this this bar, well, are you? Can if they want to. <laughs> but it's not, you know, nice food. You've you've invented a nice restaurant. Uh, somebody's going to be phoning me and saying, "Yes, Lee, we will, we will, we will, we will rock you." <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's all I could get in that. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. <laughs> and as um, Lee drops off and reinvents the pub lunch, what? It's not a pub lunch. It's a proper club night. Club event with with quiet music. No, it and can be food. loud a little bit, but not <laughs> mass, not like dish, 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 dish. They feel it in your chest. It's you. That's, oh, it's me. Sorry, it's you. <laughs> anyway, you're totally welcome, Mike. But stick around because up next it's Mike in the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready to be disappointed, like we are to our parents, and go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Having a beverage there, Mike? Ooh. Is it some promotional thing, this? Ooh. Ooh. You're not supposed to... It's just this first story. You're gonna belch it. Do you want one? No thanks. Do you want one? Okay. No. Yeah. So yeah, um, this is a story about um, Coke and Pepsi. Okay. So the big rivalry that they've had for many, many years, and the fact that together, they've they've come up with something new and exciting. Some some research. Pepsi. Huh? Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. The Pepsi. The taste of a new generation. Gener new generation. <laughs> okay. Um, no, this is the fact that drinking um, I said drinks of Coca-Cola or Pepsi has been found to increase your testicle size. Oh, okay. Mm. Seems to be anything it. happening going there. Huh? Things going on there. Why are you staring at my crotch? I just, you know. I just thought I'd stare at your bollocks. I, is... have, heft, I have heft in my pants, thank you. Um... Apparently, the, the the combination of caffeine things. This does caffeine free because I'm not like caffeine because I'm faulty. Um, but basically, stimulates testosterone, which makes your testicles swell. I don't like I don't like full fat coke. It can be diet coke too. I mean, diet coke. Yeah, or full fat or diet. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been drinking that for years, and why am I so homosexual then? No, no, it makes them big, not straight. <laughs> Doesn't make you go hmm, bushy. It's coke. It's not. It's not a miracle. Oh, bro. okay. Do you know if you do you know um, if you put a tooth in a glass of Coca Cola, you get a Coca Cola stain. Dissolve it. it. No, it does. It doesn't. It does. I've seen it on the television. It doesn't actually dissolve it. it does it? Does it? Doesn't. It's bad for your teeth. It is bad for your teeth, but that's just because it's got a lot of sugar in it. it How are your balls it. anyway? Are they, huh? are they starting? I, I'm finding it uncomfortable to sit right are now. Are you? Yes. Oh goodness, which me. is quite exciting. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm just going to pop it down there, just to upset the gallery because it's right next to the electrics. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. Do you, do you not drink coke and cola and things then? Very rarely. Very Mike. rarely. I am. Oh, I am. A, my body is a temple. <sighs> but this temple, um, <laughs> old and crumbling. Old and crumbling. Yes. And nobody's been in it for years. But that moves on to our next story. <laughs> Does it increase? Does it increase aggression? Nah, that wasn't Coca aggressive. Uh -oh. you, you felt aggressive. <laughs> you said so before. Come on, crack on. Yeah, crack on, he says. Time's time's ticking. <laughs> Don't have a watch. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, but moving on then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, staying in that general area. Testicles. Around there. Around that area. Yeah. Some Take... more medical research has been released. Has been released? Yes. Um, how do I put this delicately? How many times do you have a wank? I'm not telling you that. <laughs> I want to make sure you're keeping healthy. I know it is important that one mm-hmm. a, a gentleman must release his flush through the seed, tubes. Yes, um, to keep things going in the right direction. <laughs> what <laughs> lyrics from a song? Keep things moving in the right direction. I don't know because the rest if you of it. don't do it, it goes the wrong way. No, Start f- no it's, it's good to it's good to flush, flush out everything pipes. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I found well, an ottoman in mine once. I didn't know that was up there. <laughs> an ottoman. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you mean Ottoman? I, and I opened it and I was like, oh, that's where those went. If I hadn't had a, I hadn't had a Tommy Tank, I wouldn't have known. Anyway. T- give 21 me my... times a month. Is that what you're supposed to do? The recommended volume is 21 times a month. <laughs> What's your face for that? Yeah, I just saw a picture flash up. Yeah. And I thought, good, what is it? Is it going to be like a jizzy cock or something? Um... That's like a day for you, isn't it? 21 Weekend. times. <laughs> Does it count if someone else is doing it for you? That's my question. Oh, I suppose, you know, as long as it's, as long as the <laughs> fluid is flowing, it doesn't really matter who is in charge of the... <laughs> really struggling with what to say there, aren't you? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to say as long as you're spaffing, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a well-known fact that. It's, that's not new news. But the number is 21. 21 times in a month. A month, yeah. So you don't get any days off. You can get a few days off. But it's, what, 30 days in a month? Yeah. It's not that many days. What, nine days off? I just had to do maths. <laughs> I need to look at the number 21 to do the maths. OK. Well, there you go, people. Yeah, Great so. one off right now. Are you watching this? <laughs> that's, that's a challenging wank. <laughs> <laughs> When I did that, erections <laughs> everywhere just went, ooh. <laughs> Lots of people going, I'm not straight, but I'll learn. Uh, well. <laughs> well. Yes, choices were made. Mm. Mm. And if you're cracking one off right now, I'll wait. <clears throat> and you can find us on social media at The Cut TV. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Body modification. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything... Pierced? No, but I think I should. What are you thinking? Just anything. A gooch. <laughs> gooch. Gooch piercing. I don't think anything in this area <laughs> should be seen the light pierced. of pierced. I think I don't. It's not a. It's not... Did I just get away with that one? What you said? I don't think anything in this area, and I said should be seen the light of day. Pierced or un- un-pierced. otherwise? Okay. Always covered it up <laughs> for modesty's sake. Mm. Yeah. Um, what are you thinking about having pierced then? What do I think of having pierced what? What are you having pierced then? Um, a nipple? I don't know. Perhaps You've not really thought about it. I have haven't you? really thought about you it. You just said it just to try and be to cool. To be cool yeah, with yeah. your kids, yeah. yeah. My um, Filtrum. My femulum. Femulum? Mm-hmm. What's a femulum? It's that little bit in your ear. Okay. There. Just there. Just there. Just that bit there. Yeah. Massive chandelier earring. That sort of thing I have put on. <laughs> Pat Butcher. <laughs> yeah. Just on my frenulum, though. Nowhere else. Just, just have it done there in your nose. And then have a Pat Butcher. Nice. Because then it'll stop you eating as well. Yeah. Win-win. Yeah. Um, but this is about a man who's had a tattoo. Of what? Of his Tesco club card. Because he kept forgetting it. And it used to really irritate him. So he had it tattooed on his, his wrist. Well done, him. <laughs> All right, Judgy. <sighs> what, what's what's with the deep sigh? It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Why is it ridiculous? Well, you just it's just a stupid thing to do, isn't it? Because over time, that will just fade away, be less effective. So does he? Does he? But the QR codes are the QR codes are great because they can be. I think it's, they did some research like seventy five percent damaged, and they still work. I suppose so, his body. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not like he's the stranger to do it too. No, he's got that fisting ring around his yeah, how forearm. Deep, how deep you gone? Yeah. yeah. How deep is your love? That yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your love is testing your love. Mm. Um, but he's only got £18 of points on there, because although he's not forgotten his club card, the cashiers and things will not scan it. 
Well, I mean, it's not in a difficult place. It's not like it's on his tank or out like that. It's not having to like, pull his <laughs> pecs down and go... <laughs> Flash your cheek. <laughs> Come on, try it again, swipe again. Um, <laughs> no, but they don't believe it's real, so they refuse to scan it. Mm. Because yeah. nobody would be that stupid to put a well, tattoo of glue. I saw on Instagram. This is this is kind of insane. So it's jewelry, and what you do is you get a ring made, mm. and it has your little, you know, your little on your credit card. You've got that little gold thing. They cut it out. Mm -hmm. They set it in a ring, so that you can just like go oop, oop, and then you get a new new ring every. Yeah, like, you would have years. to every couple of years. Yeah, that's better than a tattoo. Is it? Mm. What's wrong with like using your watch or your phone? Well, paint? that's what normal people would use, wouldn't it? Sensible people, but he clearly isn't. Oh yeah, not unattractive. I oh, know it sits on his face in, in a sort of plaster away. It, it looks a bit rough and ready. Mm, it's like a builder. It looks like he'd wipe up the curtains on the way out. Yes, and, and then not. scan it. <laughs> then scan it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't got a on his cock. Um, so you think about doing that for yourself? No. Maybe a library card? No, a library card? You see your sister's bus pass? <laughs> no. <laughs> Stretch the skin that'll ask me. Well, that's it. <laughs> trying to find. My age, skin is as loose as a goose. <laughs> so it's, you know, anyway. So no tattoos, no piercings? No, I just, I, when I go, I want to be immaculately perfect. Just so you're having a lot of work done. Yeah. Your, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, um, that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you very much for that, Mike. Stick around, it's coming up. We have Game of the Week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to be playing Words, Words, Words. And this is one for our very own love bug. And I'm not talking about STIs. Off your pop, Mike with your rattled caboose. <laughs> How rude. Game of the week. Are we ready, Mike? Yes. So I'm going to give you a collective noun, ooh, and a choice of two or three things it could possibly be. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay. So your first one is a hill. Now, is a hill a collective noun for beans, people, or shoes? It's a what? A hill. So it's a is collective it... noun for for one of those three beans, things. Beans, people, or shoes, yeah. Bean, people, or... Oh. I'm going to say beans. You would be correct. Oh, because yeah. that makes, kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Like a, like a hill of beans. <laughs> Hill of, hill of people doesn't make sense. No. Okay. No, it's not been the same part as that I have. No. 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 Um, your next one is a puddle. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it a puddle of platypuses, porpoises, or papayas? Oh. Now you see, platypuses are very. Um... They don't live with other platypuses. They 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 like to live by themselves. They're very solitary. Solitary. That's the word I was yes. I was searching. So Ham-fistedly searching. Yeah. My like dripping old brain. Um, and porpoises. They they're called something else. They're called like a school. Okay. I think. So I'm going to go with the one that I can't remember at the end. Papaya. That you said. Papaya. Papayas. Which is a fruit. Yes, a puddle of papayas. No. Oh. It's the first one. It's a puddle of porpoises. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's quite cute, that. I thought it was a school. Or a pod. Oh, platypuses, sorry. It was platypuses. Oh, it's not porpoises. No, it's platypuses. Oh, OK. There you are. OK. Next one is a sheaf. A sheaf. Yes. Is it a sheaf of condoms? A sheaf of corns? or a sheaf of blades? Oh, well, sheath is the, is the old word for a condom. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go with a sheath of corn. For the back of my mind, that sounds like it might be right. OK, you're right. You're well at this. I know. We should have played Uza Kazoo. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Next one. 
a troop. Troop, a troop. We've got elephants, soldiers, and mushrooms. Hmm. Now soldiers are in a, you're in a troop when you're in when you're in the army. But they're trooping. Like too easy. I'm gonna say elephants. Mushrooms. Oh the troop of mushrooms. Which I quite like the idea. I've got this mental image of mushrooms dressed as soldiers. Oh, okay. Like saluting Probably would do if you ate certain kind of mushrooms. <laughs> the magical ones. Magic mushrooms. Shrooms. Shrooms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, <laughs> so your next one. Is it a clutch of chickens, a clutch of pheasant, or a clutch of eggs? Ooh. Now, uh, it's not chickens. Because chickens are a... I don't know, but it's not like chickens. Okay. And you do have a clutch of eggs. Okay. But I have a feeling it's pheasants. So you're saying pheasants? Yeah. It's eggs. Oh. Um, it's a boom. flock of pheasants and a flock of chickens. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is a prickle. Is it a prickle of drag queens? A prickle of hedgehogs? Or a prickle of hairbrushes. Um, I'm not. I don't think it's drag queens. There is a name for a group of drag queens. <sighs> hedgehogs would be of the obvious. I'm going to say hedgehogs. You say hedgehogs. Yeah. Are you sure it's not hairbrushes? Well, hairbrushes aren't prickly. Yeah, that's right. It's, he it's hedgehogs. Woo! Um, so, we'd had troop before. Yeah. Now you've got army. Eh? Okay, so army is the next one. Oh, right, okay. Is it an army of birds, army of frogs, or army of lizards? Oh, I was waiting for you to say ants. Mm. Army of ants. An army of birds. An army of lizards. Frogs. Yeah, frogs, it was frogs. I think frogs is a chorus of frogs. And okay. I don't think it's an army of birds. I'm going to go lizards, an army of lizards. Okay, it's an army of frogs. Oh, bums. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an army of bums, it's an army of frogs. Okay, one you should be able to get quite easily. A tower. Mm -hmm. Is it a tower of giraffes? Mm -hmm. A tower of zebras. Animals. We're living in this. <laughs> Is it a tower of giraffes, a tower of zebras, <laughs> or a tower of glasses? I'm going to go as you stuttered over the first two, because uh, it's a herd of giraffe and it's a herd of zebra. I'm going to say a tower of glasses. It's actually giraffes, I think. Yeah. Is it a thing of giraffes? Tower oh, of okay. giraffes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tricked you by my, my effortless acting. Mm. Yeah. Okay. A murmuration. Oh, murmuration. I like that word, murmuration. Um, is it a group of animals? A group of blackbirds? or a group of cockroaches? I think I know this. I think it's a group of blackbirds. It is a group of blackbirds. No. Yeah. Mm. I was going to go for, for a murder. A mur that's a crows. I knew you'd get that one. Sure. Sound like a goth. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, a herd of elephants, mm -hmm. tigers, or cats. Ooh. Now you see elephants. I think elephants is a pod. Okay. A herd of tigers. That doesn't sound right. And a herd of. I'm going to say a herd of cats. Elephants. 
Really? Elephants move in herds, yeah, yeah. You're thinking of whales. Am I? Pod of whales. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the next one. Is it a descent of spiders? A descent of woodpeckers? Or a descent of memory? Of memory? Of memories. Descent of spiders, mm -hmm. a, a descent of woodpeckers, mm -hmm. a descent of memories. Yeah. I'm going to go for a weird one, woodpeckers. You'd be right. <laughs> oh. A descent of woodpeckers. Hmm. Is that like them all together? Yeah. yeah. Is it a cackle of gays? A cackle of hyenas? Or a cackle of laughter? Oh, I thought we were going to say witches. Oh, that's oh. a coven. This is a coven. It's not a, it's not a cackle of gays, although, yeah. It's a bitch of gays, I think. Yeah. Was it gays? Got gays, hyenas, and and laughter. Um, I'm going to go with um, hyenas. It is hyenas because they do kind of cackle, don't they? They go. <laughs> no, they don't do that. They do. They're like going. <laughs> oh no! That's not... <laughs> I can't believe I got you to make that noise. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> Have we got time for a few more? All the time in the world, Bites. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it a fold of cheese? Okay. A fold of paper? Or a fold of sheep? I know this one, it's a fold of paper. It's a fold of sheep? No, it's not! Oh, for <laughs> sake! <laughs> Stupid gang. You're not a fan? No. Okay, well, we'll stop then. Stay with us, because after this, it's that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we prepare ourselves to look into a world of tomorrow using today's stuff. It's Mike, and that's science that is. That science, that is. So this week, it's I'm excited to bring you the fact that we're making dynamite. Really? I've got a statement to read. At no point, either now or in the future, will I, the director of Chewing the Cud, allow Mike to create, use, or have in the possession of dynamite. So we're making TNT instead. Oh. I've got another statement to read. At no point, either now or in the future, will I, the director of Chewing the Cud, allow Mike to create, use, have in his possession of anything that's incendiary, explosive, or could be used to cause harm. Dull. Today, Mike will be doing pressure point conversation. So we're going to talk about pressure points and how they work. Aren't you excited now? Didn't I, didn't I already poo-poo those? Poo-poo what? Poo poo pressure points. <laughs> There's no poo poo pressure points. Which is coincidentally my online name. <laughs> <laughs> That's your grinder name. <laughs> <laughs> poo poo pressure points. Please welcome to the stage, Lady Poo Poo Pressure Points. <laughs> Lady? That's a bit far. <laughs> Class in here. Oh. No, on your hand. Okay. We're, we're not going to ask you to do foot stuff. Oh, okay. I. Not con I'm not confident that I could raise my foot from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're not doing it. Um, but because uh, your hand has many pressure points, and it, it's, it's been scientifically proven that using pressure points does help because it helps to release endorphins. And are you okay with that? I'm a hand model. You're a hand model. Yeah. We've spoken about this before, but I don't like to draw attention to it. You keep, you know what, you know when someone says they'd like to offer you a hand job, that's not what they mean. Oh. It means that they're. I wonder if I was going through a lot of hand cream. They're going to be very disappointed in about five minutes. What I mean, right? So there's different parts of your hand, okay, that are linked to different parts of your body. Oh. Oh. 
So yeah, um, so not like that, because that's that's when you're definitely linked to a specific part of your body. Um, you've got a place called the Valley. Okay. Yes. Have you found your Long Valley? No. Okay. You okay your, yes. Yes, you found your Long Valley. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You've got your fish border. Don't you swear <laughs> at me. I said your fish border. My fish border. Yeah. This is your lesser place. My lesser place. Lesser place. Lesser place. Lesser. As in not great. Lesser. Okay. And up here is your small intestine. Okay. Ooh. Now, the way you activate a pressure push, why you smile like that? You look like you were getting sexual gratification. I, I was touching my lesser place. <laughs> I call mine my disappointment. <laughs> um, <laughs> so there's, there's more points in your body, but they're the ones we're going to look at because they're the ones that are going to release the most of the endorphins and dopamine and happiness. Oh. Yeah. Same sort of stuff that makes chocolate like really good. Mm. Okay. So if you get a pinchy action like this. Lobster hand. <laughs> no, lobster hand's that. Oh, okay. That Grab pinch. finger. Grab finger. It's like a really shit James Bond crab finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then if we're, go we're going to start over here on your fishy bit, right? On my fish finger. On your fish finger, yeah. <laughs> okay, and you, you gently squeeze, okay, and then wiggle. Is that doing anything for you? Need a wee. <laughs> I didn't ask if you needed a wee. I'll ask if that's doing anything for you. No, it was just no. mildly irritating. <laughs> okay, so if we, if we move up from your fish border and go to your joining valley in the middle and do the same thing again. My join you valley. Joining valley. How's that feeling? Is that good? It's all right. Yeah. I've got a boner or anything. <laughs> Is that going to happen soon? No, <laughs> it's not that. It'll take a goddamn <laughs> lot more than <laughs> squeezing me hand. Hey, hey! <laughs> It'll take some Viagra and a wish. <laughs> uh, Stiff wind and some <laughs> scaffolding. <laughs> now, you're, you're, you're old enough to remember the doozers from Fraggle Rock, aren't you? Yeah. With the scaffolding. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, um, and then if you go to your small intestine, give that a go. Which one was the small intestine again? Over here. Okay. Just below your pinky finger. Yeah. And what that's doing, by, by moving all those points, sorry, the, the, the gallery are joining in downstairs and one of them has just said that they've shot themselves. Um, that's nothing to do with feet touching the rest. <laughs> nothing to do with that. <laughs> it's just, just a daily occurrence. Basically sneezed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so what that's doing right now is you're going to be releasing endorphins and dopamine and making yourself feel happy. Dolphins and dolphins. Dopamine. They're not dolphins. Where are they? In your brain. Oh! <laughs> it's not dolphins. <laughs> it's dopamine. Okay. Okay. Um, but the, the ancient Chinese um, had lots of different parts of your body on your fingers and stuff, so it every, you target different places on your fingers. But those big bits are the ones that mainly help to... What are you doing? Nothing. You were doing this. <laughs> That's a different butterfly. <laughs> it's not shadow puppets. <laughs> Look, I wanted to blow <laughs> up. Well, when are we getting to it? I was told I'm not allowed to. Why have I got a man's toiletry bag in front of me? <laughs> because that's what's got the explosive stuff in it. Oh, can we do it? No, the director said we're not allowed to. Because <sighs> he said something about me trying to blow up the studio. Tea bags, when we set those on fire, Right, they they kept finding ash in the in the ceiling. I was you, by the way. Just saying. I'll have to do hand movements like this now. Why? That's um this. That's um from a film. <laughs> Can't remember it was, what's it called. I wonder if there's a pressure point for memory. <laughs> Not Mean Girls. Okay. 
the one with the dancers. Really bad. Um, Bring it on. No. In Las Vegas. Get some boobies out. Dream girls? Dri no. Showgirls. Showgirls, that's it, yeah. Showgirls. We're doing any science then, or we just. That's, that, it? that's it. Is that that's it? That's releasing dopamine and stuff. That's science, that is. You'll feel the back of my hand across your face in a minute. Oh. That's science, that is. Gotta fill me in. Can you fill me in? <laughs> that was a choice. <laughs> Who sang that? Craig David? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you're glad you learnt about pressure points now, then? Well, I kind of already knew. I'm okay. very, very in touch with my spiritual side. It's not spiritual. Scientific, not spiritual. Because mm. you push a bit. What do they call it? Ooh. Um, holistic. Yes, thank you, gallery. Thank you for saying that. I, I, I embrace all things. I've, I've had heard. acupuncture. I've had Reiki. Had other things, uh, hot anima. stones. No, not animals. Oh, I love a hot stone. Ooh. Um, I've had. Ooh. I had once. <laughs> Mind expanding socks. <laughs> 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 I was once. Fifty by a goat. No, I was once regressed. But into what? Into another. Into a, into a past life. And how did that work for you? Not. That's not so well. <laughs> what we, we, oh, we found you were a past life. You were a snail. <laughs> no, because no, I, no, I don't, no, I don't no, think it worked. Okay. But I felt bad, so I invented something. Because <laughs> what if that's what everybody does? If everybody does, then that person thinks that they're amazing. But or it's they really know, they know that it's no good, and they know that everyone's going to lie. They just let you go on. Yeah. But like you got your eyes closed. And it's like, oh, I, oh, yeah. oh, I'm Cleopatra. Of course you are, love. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think she was quite... I was like, yes. Did yes. you do voices and everything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't poo-poo it. Because it could <laughs> could be true. It could be true. Could the be fact true. that you had to play along <laughs> and paid for the privilege yeah. of doing some improv. By a substantial amount of money. Um, How much? D three digits. No, it wasn't three digits. Goodness okay. gracious me. Um, it was about 60 quid. It's not a lot. But that was... For uh. a regression, <laughs> um, Reiki, ooh, okay, and tarot cards and miming as well. <laughs> That's the only bit that stuck. Um, <laughs> Is that a dance you used to do in the clubs? Feed the, the chickens. <laughs> um, she wasn't very accurate. Okay. Yes. Um, well, thankfully, we're almost at the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing The Could. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.